Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. So, it's been a while since we've had an update on the artichoke growing challenge. And the last I heard from Scott at Lacey Family Farms, his did not fare so well. Uh, I don't know if they didn't come up or they came up and then either died or were eaten by something. And so he did not get any uh, artichoke plants. Uh, so I give you, I'm gonna give you an update on mine. So if you saw my last video uh, where I did a, a quick update, mine went through uh, a bit of, of hell really when I moved them out to the greenhouse. It was too hot. They looked like death for quite a while. And then I didn't get them transplanted for a while because I didn't really have room to put them anywhere. Um, but I finally got some boxes built. Now I had like 11 plants come up of, of all three different varieties, but I ended up only having boxes to plant one of each. And so that, that's what this row is here. Um, they still went through some transplant shock when I put them in the boxes and took a long time to really start looking decent. But now they're, they're starting to fill out and come together. I was just looking at my little thing here, and this is actually the Colorado one here. Um, so the Colorado one is doing the best. And actually this was the one that on the description, it said it would do better in like cooler climates. Um, so we'll see what happens. Now, one thing that I did not do with my artichokes was the vernalization process. And that is something that may be necessary to get artichokes in your first year. So the vernalization process to vernalize your plant basically tricks it into thinking that it has already gone through one winter. Generally, your artichokes are a perennial plant and a lot of times they don't put off the actual artichoke fruits their first year. They'll grow a plant and then their following year, they will, after they've gone through a winter, that's when they produce artichokes. Now you can do a vernalization process, which basically you kind of put them in the fridge for a week. Now they're still gonna need light and stuff, but they need a cool area that's like around 50, 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit for about seven days. That makes the plant, when it's young, think that it's already gone through winter and it will have more potential to put off your artichokes uh, on your first year. I didn't do that. However, we did have some cold nights. Uh, we had a really weird spring that went from super hot to super cold on multiple days. And these plants were outside for some of that in the greenhouse and got some cold nights. So I was hoping that that maybe be enough that they'll grow and put off artichokes, but we're gonna see. The one problem I think I might run into is that these artichokes, because they went through so much stuff in the beginning of the season and had such a long recovery time from the recovering from the sunburn in the greenhouse and then the transplant shock that they're probably way behind where they should be. I mean, these plants should probably be much higher now that we are into July. So I'm hoping that they will now start really putting off some stuff um, and growing bigger and stronger in time before I get my first frost in the fall. But hey, while we're here, as, as I promised, let's go to a little bit of artichoke history. All right, so here's your artichoke history for the day. Where did artichokes originate from? Well, if you go to the Greek legend, or Greek legends and the Greek gods and all that sort of thing, the Greek legends say that Zeus created the artichoke. And here's how. Zeus went to go visit his brother Poseidon on the island wherever he lived. While he was there, he saw this gorgeous, gorgeous woman named Sinara, or Sinara, and he was immediately head over heels in love with her. So he asked her to come live near him. And he's like, if you come live near me, I will make you a goddess. And then you and I can make all the love that we want when my wife is out of town. Zeus was married to Hera. So Sinara was like, oh yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I'll be a goddess. <clears throat> so she went along with him. But after time, she got kind of, I guess, bored of the love affair. And one night she snuck back and went to go visit her mother. She was kind of homesick. 
Zeus found out about her betrayal to go visit her mother and was so angry that he threw her off of the area of, you know, Olympia or whatever, the, the area of the gods, and then zapped her and turned her into an artichoke. And I think part of that was, the idea was, he was trying to protect uh, this, you know, obsession, this love that he had of her, uh, and didn't want anybody else to be able to access it, and that's why the artichokes have these prickly leaves. And even like when you pick an artichoke, you know, it's kind of prickly on the outside and you kind of have to peel away to get to the heart of it. He wanted to protect the heart of his lover from anybody else being able to have it other than him. <clears throat> even though, you know, he would, had, was so angry with her, he cast her out. Jealous boyfriends, man. So there's your artichoke history for the day. So the competition basically is no longer going on uh, between Lacey Family Farms and uh, me here at One Seed One World since their plants did not make it. However, now I am in competition with myself and uh, bugs <laughs> and mother nature to try to get these plants to grow. Hopefully the ver not doing the vernalization process um, will still allow them to put off some artichokes this year and hopefully they will grow fast enough to produce fruit, flowers, whatever. Uh, before my first frost in the fall since they are way behind. So we'll keep you updated on what's going on. Are you growing artichokes this year? If you are, give me an update on what is going on with your artichokes and also let me know what successes or what things have worked for you in the past when you've grown artichokes, if you have done so. But thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me again today. Hope whatever's going on in your neck of the woods is going fantastic and that you are getting a lot of produce produce this summer. We will see you again soon. Have a great day. Namaste.